treatment of hematemesis. What do you do when a patient comes to you with the upper GI bleeding? The first principles, the principles are immediate resuscitation, clinical assessment, and some investigations. After that, go for definitive therapy and then give long-term treatment. What is in resus? Resus is A, B, C, airway, breathing, circulation. Airway, maintain the airway by endotracheal intubation if the patient has massive hematemesis. If the patient is hypoxic, give oxygen. Or if the patient is in shock, give oxygen. Circulation, assess circulation, assess for evidence of shock by checking the pulse, checking the blood pressure, checking the capillary refill, and obviously get an IV access. And after getting an IV access, give IV fluid. Immediately give crystalloids. And if the patient is anemic, or if the patient is in shock, you can also give blood. Take history, rapid history for comorbidities and check any previous reports and give uh, check, take the blood sample for some basic investigations. Investigations include hemoglobin. If the patient is bleeding, the hemoglobin can be low. Urea and electrolytes. High urea will suggest massive bleeding and there can be electrolyte abnormalities. Liver function test may be abnormal, especially if the patient has a very self bleeding. And obviously you have to do a blood grouping and cross matching. If the patient is in shock or severe bleeding, then you should have at least two bag blood ready. And after stabilization of the patient, you have to go for definitive therapy. And if the patient has a peptic ulcer disease bleeding, then you have those options. You can you can heat the, uh, you can use a heater probe, you can use a clip, you can also inject dilute adrenaline into the bleeding area. And if all those fails, you can give hemospray. That's for non variceal bleeding. If the patient has a variceal bleeding, what do you do? You give EVL, endoscopic variceal ligation. And if this fails, you go for balloon tamponade. And if this fails, you have to go for tips transcutaneous intrahepatic portosystemic stent shunt. In non variceal bleeding, the next step would be surgery. And the surgical option include underrunning in both G, uh, gastric and duodenal ulcer. If the patient is frail and older, you can also use angio embolization, I mean, angiographic embolization. After giving the specific or definitive therapy, look for long-term treatment. The long-term treatment includes avoiding NSAIDs and checking for H. pylori. And if H. pylori is present, eradicate by giving the triple therapy. 